everywhere, including down in Akron at the zoo. We've been talking about how the animals, the different patterns and, and the way that the animals are going to act and what's going to happen during the solar eclipse. Stephen Hernandez is down in Akron. Let's go out to Stephen. Thank you, guys. As you can tell, a lot of animals are going to have a lot of different reactions. But meanwhile, we're making a lot of new friends. How are you guys doing? Good. There we go. There we go. So right next to us, we have the Tiger Sue Mini. You can see she's a little relaxed, a bit of a young tiger. But we could probably expect that during the eclipse, she may be doing a little bit of that relaxing. You know, for a lot of animals, dark means nighttime. So it may be good night for her for at least those few minutes but in the meanwhile people from all over are coming here to the zoo to enjoy an opportunity to get closer to the animals and also learn and discover along with NASA as they're doing their big experiment as to the reactions of the animals and we're here with Dennis and Darius how are you guys doing you guys came from not too far how you doing there Chuck we thought we'd come here to see how the eclipse is doing and how it's going to have the effects on animals today Perfect. What animal are you guys really excited to see today? Mm, the shumi. The shumi? There we go. That's a very unique one. A little bit of everything today. I know that some animals are going to be sleeping, some animals are going to be excited, but this is a once-in-a-lifetime event. What's it like being here today, along with so many people that are doing the same? Chuck, I'm 67, and this only comes once in a lifetime. And I brought Darius is here, so when he gets 67, he'll turn it on to his grandchildren. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, a beautiful family thing, and I hope you guys get to enjoy it along with everyone else here. We'll be giving you more shots, more takes, more reactions of the animals as we get closer and closer to the path of totality. But for now, we can enjoy the zoo for a little longer. Reporting live in Akron, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.